Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tanner's Favorite Things. I'm Tanner Knight, and today we're going to have a little teaser. Uh, no playing, no plugging anything in, we're just going to talk about what the hell is in front of me. If you can count, or if you can't, I'll count for you. we got six, six guitars right here. I'm going to call this a new series called The Greg Collection because one of my really good friends, Greg, has a ton of just beautiful, beautiful guitars, and he is in the position where he wants to downsize his collection slightly. So we decided let's go ahead and take a good look at his collection here on my YouTube channel, and uh, maybe that will entice a few people to ask a few questions. So all of these guitars are for sale, and we're gonna crack each case today, but we're not gonna d dive deep into it. We're just gonna crack it open, take a look, kind of name what's on the tape that's listed on each guitar conveniently, and uh, go from there. So let's go ahead and organize this a little better, and I'll uh, get a guitar in front of us. All right, we're gonna keep this short and simple here. And we're going to start with kind of the guitars that I know the least about. This is a Kramer. And before we open this case, you should know Greg is a shredder. He plays fast and hard, and he loves a whammy bar, a Floyd Rose, you name it, whatever kind of tremolo system. So all of these guitars are in that vein. So let's go ahead and take a look at guitar number one. This is a Kramer Shattered Beretta. <clears throat> All right, and we do have some packaging bubbles in here. And uh, if you do order any of these guitars off of, say, uh, Reverb or Facebook listing, then uh, I'll make sure they're nice and packed with uh, the appropriate kind of protection underneath the strings and between the fretboard, etc. But this is a Beretta Shattered Single Humbucker Floyd Rose Maple Neck Pointy Headstock. Cool. Just in case you wondered, does the shattered continue on the back? It does not. Okay, number two, we have a hammer case. Hammer? Hammer? Not exactly 100% sure there, but I know this is not that type of guitar. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what we have under the case for number two. All right, this is a really cool one. This is an Epiphone USA product from the 90s, maybe late 80s, but... Uh, this is an Epiphone Pro, I don't know, something. And uh, it is in black with a carved top. You can see the light bouncing off of that carving. That is, in fact, a carved top with a bunch of frets um, beyond 24, maybe even. This is a Shredder's Dream, ebony on black with the Epiphone Mother and Pearl logo. Let's just take a quick look at the back here. Nothing too special, maple banana headstock on this one instead of the super pointy one. So that's uh, obviously not unique to Epiphone, but uh, it's a bit more explorer in shape. Okay, we got Jack to join us for guitar number three. Again, we have a Kramer case, and I do believe this one does contain a Kramer. So let's go ahead and take a look at the green badge. It says 86 Kramer Pacer IMP WH signed. Whoa, cool. So this is a Kramer Pacer, and you can kind of see that on the truss rod there, but it's obscured by the string gatherer. This is a dual humbucker design, kind of Strat-esque in shape and size. Dual humbucker Floyd Rose, and I believe this is Richie Sambora and someone else. Maybe, I don't know, I don't think it's John Bon Jovi. Maybe it is, but... Uh, we have a, a signed guitar here, in other words. Rosewood fretboard. I'm not going to touch this one too much because of the signatures, but we do have a white back as well. All of these are bolt-on, multi-kind of ply or multi-piece necks, and uh, that's what the back of them looks like. So if I haven't mentioned it up until this point, uh, there will be an individual video with every single guitar on this kind of teaser video. But what do we got here? Another Kramer. And it says 86 Klein Comet Beretta. And it does indeed say Kramer. So let's get into this thing and see what's underneath. Cool. So this is an airbrush design, I believe. I'm not exactly sure how they do that. We'll have to 
figure that out for the next video. But this is the Comet, um, what, uh, what is it called? The Beretta, that's right. So this is, again, single humbucker, rosewood fretboard. We have a pointy, pointy headstock and uh, the Kramer Beretta, you know, naming there. On the back, there is no design, but it does have a, a COA, Certificate of Authenticity. And this is what the back looks like. Again, maple neck, Kramer all the way. So if you like Greg's taste in guitars up until this point, I think you're really gonna like the last two. I saved the best for last. We do have an ESP case with, oh, I guess there's one more latch here, with a friggin' purple tiger. And I wanted to show you the guitar first before I showed you the green tag in this one because, you know, if you know what's coming, it might not be quite as impactful. But this is the Purple Tiger. Uh, George Lynch designed guitar, I believe, or at least he uh, okayed it. And we have the Rosewood fretboard, banana kind of headstock, a little Explorer-esque, but uh, its own thing. And of course, the Purple Tiger, very purple on the edge bursting to a bangly center. Uh, this is our first HS guitar, humbucker single coil that I think we've seen, but we do have a, uh, a Floyd Rose. And the thing with this guitar, it is friggin' heavy. The back doesn't have the tiger design, but it does have the purple burst continued on the back with our maple neck. Damn, this thing is sick. This is one of those guitars that you just don't rarely see come up anywhere because if people have them, they kind of sit on them and keep them in uh, safe deposit boxes and things like that. They're, they're highly valuable and they're unique and very rare. So I'm very honored to have this in my possession and hopefully I can do it justice with a good video. So look out for that. Let me know if you have any specific requests that you'd like to be covered in that video. Okay, our last guitar for today again is another ESP Japan guitar. What a badass looking case. They got a, a logo that's bolted or riveted right on there. Pretty cool. Just nice case, something to behold unto itself. But here, let's take a look at the green tag. It's a bit more cryptic. ESP G something one signed. So this one should also have signatures and indeed, this is the Kamikaze, the George Lynch Kamikaze guitar. And uh, it is signed, apparently. I don't know which signatures are which, but uh, we've got signatures there. This is a very important guitar, or at least important to the right person who appreciates the lineage of George Lynch and this particular model. So. We're going to go ahead and do this one justice as well, probably last. So, you know, don't want to save the best for last, but that's kind of what we're into today and with the Greg collection. So this is the best for last. And uh, I don't know what these are going to go for. We're going to have to discuss a price and figure all of that out and hopefully get the correct insurance, blah, blah, blah. But this is a rare guitar made even rarer with the signatures. And uh, yeah, let's just take a look at the back. Much lighter than the Purple Tiger. Just regular back, regular black on the back. Here, real quick, you can see the Made in Japan insignia on the back of the headstock. But uh, yeah, this boys and girls is a friggin' axe. So uh, in no way can I play these in a way that does them justice. So you're just gonna have to bear with me on that. I'll apologize in advance. But uh, we do have, again, the humbucker single coil variant in, uh, in this guitar. So that's, you know, that's a, a really good option. So cool design, cool signatures. I'm sure there's an even cooler story that I'm gonna get out of Greg before the next video, but that's the teaser. That's what we got, folks. Six guitars, six stories all shredders with a friggin' Floyd Rose. So I'm uh, gonna be entering into slightly new territory, but if you're into this stuff, let me know. And Greg has way more that we can talk about. So let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, that always helps. And I hope to see you on the next one.